Miami girls basketball team moved up to double A and won that as well, now having to beat Gatewood for a second year in a row to win back to back double A titles. Alex Barfield and her Lady Eagles looking for that fourth straight title, but it was Lauren Barfield keeping her team in it in the second half for the layup. Terrell Academy still trailing. Gatewood, though, meant business. Macy Malcolm stops, pops, and drops. Gatewood increasing the lead. And then late, Katie Deang gets to steal. The layup on the other end is good. 21 points for her. Gatewood wins 53-40, to denying Terrell Academy its second straight state title. For the Westwood girls, and Chris Academy is a mountain that couldn't get to the top of Chris Academy trying to do just that and take down Westwood in the Class A title game today. But Maddie Mitchell had plans of her own. Mitchell getting the shot there as clock expired in the third. Fourth quarter, Chris up six. And then it's Mitchell again. She had 36. Chris Academy claims a second straight title, 59 to 51 beating Westwood for the seventh straight time. Um, it's an awesome feeling. You know, we won it last year, but this one right here was special. Um, we've worked really hard. We have two great seniors, and uh, they won't get to play again for Crisp Academy, and we did it for them, and I'm so proud of them. It was the fifth state title in school history. In AAA, the Arlington Christian girls beat Westfield 64 to 55. In college, Valdosta State splits with West Florida. Men lose, women win. Georgia Southwestern dropping two at Columbus State. Both teams fall. And a shocker in a GCAA women's basketball final. Georgia perimeter hammers South Georgia Tech 83 to 47 in a tournament final. The Lady Jets had been on a 17-game win streak.